Alright, so in this video I'll be showing you how to downgrade Skyrim Special Edition on Steam following the latest creations update. This is for any of you that have a mod list on a previous version that you would like to get back to, especially considering that more updates are on the way and the downgrade patcher by Helgari is temporarily broken. So to begin, you'll want to go ahead and copy the Steam Open Console link found in the description, which will look like what you see on screen. Once you've done so, you'll want to go ahead and open up your browser of choice and paste that link into the address bar and hit enter. Once you've done so, you should get a prompt from your browser asking to open Steam, which you'll want to go ahead and do. If we now go back to Steam, after a few moments, the console window should appear. This is where we want to enter our commands. There will be a total of three different Steam depots that we need to download in order to acquire all of the files for Skyrim Special Edition, which means three separate commands that we'll want to enter one at a time. You'll be able to find these console commands in the description, in the format as you see on screen, which will include the version it's tied to, as well as a short description of it. And beneath that will be the three commands associated with downloading that version. I'll be doing version 1.6.640 in this video, which is the version right before the creations update. But I'll be adding to the list over time as new versions are requested. So again, ensuring that we only copy one command at a time, we can start pasting them into the Steam console's text box as seen on screen, and hitting enter, where you should see a new line appear in the window saying downloading depot with the depot ID and total file size. Now, continue to paste the other two commands associated with your build, again, one at a time, and hit enter. Once you've done this for all three commands, you'll just need to wait for the downloads to finish. This is entirely dependent on your download speed, so it might take a bit considering we are downloading the entirety of Skyrim. You'll know your downloads are done when you see three lines stating depot download complete with the directory it was dumped in, how many files were included in the download, and the manifest ID. To make things easier, you'll want to go ahead and highlight the directory as shown on screen, excluding both the quotation at the beginning and the depot folder at the end, as we just want to go into the directory for the app itself. So ensure you have things highlighted the way that I do on screen and hit Ctrl C to copy it to your clipboard. From here, you'll want to go ahead and open File Explorer and paste the directory we just copied into the address bar using Control V and hit enter. This will bring you straight to the three separate depots we just finished downloading. And if we go into the first one, we can see it includes a data folder as well as the install script. If we go into the next one, we can see it includes several more files for Skyrim as the main download. And the last folder contains the Skyrim executable. So these are all the files we'll need to use to overwrite our current install. So without closing that file explorer, go back to Steam Go to the Library tab, go to Skyrim Special Edition, right click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. This will open the Skyrim install directory, where we'll be copying all of the files we just finished downloading. We can do so by going back to the first depot folder, highlighting everything within, and dragging them all into the Skyrim install directory, ensuring it says something along the lines of Copy to Skyrim Special Edition. You should then have a pop-up letting you know that the destination has files with the same names, and here you just want to go ahead and click Replace the Files in the Destination. Once that is finished, we want to follow the same steps for the next two depot folders. So go back to the other file explorer, open the second depot folder, highlight all of the files within, drag them over to where it says Copy to Skyrim Special Edition, drop them in, and select Replace the Files in the Destination. Once done, we can follow the same steps for the final depot folder. So going back one more time, opening the final depot folder, highlighting what is there, which in this case is just the Skyrim executable, drag it over to the Skyrim Special Edition directory, again ensuring it says you're putting it into the Skyrim Special Edition folder, drop it in, and replace the file. And now you have downgraded your Skyrim Special Edition to the version of your choosing. So if you go ahead and launch Skyrim Special Edition with the SKSC64 loader, you'll want to do this with your mod manager, then the game should now launch as normal. We can ensure that SKSC64 is recognized correctly by opening the console on the main menu using the tilde key, typing get SKSC version, and hitting enter. This should then reveal the SKSC version, release ID, and runtime. If this is the case, SKSC64 and the rest of your mod list should now work as intended, and your game won't update unless there's another patch or you verify your game files. Speaking of which, before you go getting caught off guard by another update, as there is at least one more patch coming very soon, we can actually block Steam updates for Skyrim Special Edition indefinitely by modifying the manifest file for the game. To do so, you'll want to go back to your Steam library, find Skyrim Special Edition, right click, go to Manage, and select Browse Local Files. This will then open the Skyrim Special Edition directory again, but we'll actually want to go back to directories to the Steam Apps folder. You'll know you're in the right place if you see a bunch of app manifest files with not so random numbers. 
And in this case, we're looking for the file app manifest underscore 489830, which is the app ID for Skyrim Special Edition. Once you find it, go ahead and right click, go to properties and next to attributes, make sure to check the box read only. Once you've done so, make sure to click apply. This will ensure that Steam can't modify this file, which is required to download updates. And if in the future you ever decide you want to update your game, you just come back to this window and uncheck the box next to read only and apply again. But since we're wanting to block updates, we can recheck it, apply, and click OK. Skyrim Special Edition should no longer auto update, and you can continue enjoying your modded game without a new update interrupting you. That being said, there are two other important things to note. First of which, if your mod list isn't already installed and for the version you've downgraded to, or you plan on installing more mods, you'll need to keep in mind that any mod you install needs to be compatible with your downgraded version. This is most notable for SKC64, Address Library, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, and any mods that require them. Second thing to note is that some mods using the upgraded creation kit might use the new extended plugin range, which will cause your game to crash if you try to load them on a downgraded version. So in order to get around this, you'll want to install the mod Backported Extended ESL Support by Nukem, which backports the support for the extended plugin range with support from 1.5.97 through 1.6.659. And that's it. Your game is now downgraded and future updates are blocked. Really hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribing if you haven't already. I post a lot about The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Cyberpunk, and I even warn you if we know that there's an update coming, as I did for this update a few weeks ago. That being said, if it didn't help, please let me know down in the comments, or feel free to hop into my Discord server, linked alongside all my other socials down in the description. And hey, if you want to dip your toes into more of my content, I suggest checking out my in-depth video on this Skyrim update, if you haven't already, or you could always check out the other video, which YouTube thinks you might enjoy. But that's it for this video. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.